ready. You look beautiful. I used to hold that girl in the palm of my hand. Kayla's becoming a woman. You're gonna have to deal with that. The first night of our adult lives. I want to go to prom and lose my goddamn virginity. <laughs> prom night. It's kind of perfect. I'm in. Julie left her laptop open. You guys are snipping on our kids? All emojis have a secret meaning. What? Our girls are not thinking things through. I'm gonna stop them. I'm in. I'm fully planning on having sex tonight. Wherever the night takes us. The Thanks, I was looking us. for that. Wherever the wind sails our ships. Your ship is going into my harbor. I'll do anything for my daughter. What about a chugging contest? Bring it. No, no, we're chugging, right? <laughs> we're butt chugging. On the count of three. Oh. They got a lager or an IPA. No. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Butt chug. Oh my God. Butt chug. Jesus, he's spit roasting himself. Post run! Post run! All right, it's fuck o'clock. I am a team player. I just decapitated four weasels. Hi, guys. Welcome <laughs> once more to Rudy Land. A land, you know, not with decapitated weasels. And we don't ingest alcohol through our anus. Apparently, that's how you die. I saw a <laughs> thousand ways to die about that. This alcoholic drunk. I remember that show. He shoved vodka into his anus for some reason, and he yeah. succumbed. I think there's better ways to get high. <laughs> In case you couldn't guess, <laughs> the film was, um, I called the cock blockers at the um, ticket stand. She didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I realized that's officially not the name, but they they heavily imply it. Yeah, they have any, heavily imply it, yeah, but the, the movie's called Blockers. With a picture of a rooster or right on top a cock, of yeah. all right above, adjacent, you could say. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Not a uh, not a good movie. Not no. uh, remarkable in any way. No, and um, you know it's. Uh, I mean, listen, these kind of movies, these whole losing your virginity movies, the teen comedies. I, I grew thought up I haven't seen shit. American Pie in a while, but I remember it actually being funny. Yeah, I don't know if it's if it is now, but could be. You don't know. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of desire to rewatch it, but uh, yeah, I mean, most of these whole, you know, losing your virginity movies are fucking stupid, forgettable, and pretty terrible. Well, at least there's you know a couple good lines or at least one or two good you know bits. Yeah. Um, I laughed in it. Yeah, um, so did I. And I can't remember a fucking thing, honestly. Yeah, which is the sad part. It's it's a very forgettable movie. It's a disposable movie. Um, the acting is um, it's very uh, insecure. Yeah. Not insecure. Very uh, you know what's that thing where it's inconsistent? Yeah. Very inconsistent. When it starts out, John Cena, I'm ready to fucking shoot him in the face. Oh, really? The way he's yeah. talking, the way he's so, trying to be Mr. Funny Guy. Very... It's terrible. He's, like, extremely overly animated. Yeah. He's trying way too hard to be Jim Carrey or something. Yeah. I mean, John Cena, I'm really not a big fan of him. Have you I, seen any... What other movies has he been in again? He was in The Marine. Uh, he was in, um... The WWF. WWE <laughs> original. Yeah. He was also in, um... Oh, what the fuck was it? Uh, train Rack with Amy Schumer. Um, was it only just, like, cameos in that movie? LeBron was in that? Fuck. I didn't see it. Yeah, it sucked. I mean, Amy Schumer, terrible. she's... I'm sure she's a fine comedian, but... Mm. I watch her show a couple times. It isn't really that funny for me. Yeah. The, um... Ike Barinholtz was okay. He didn't yeah, bother me. He was the only one who actually... Teeth. Like, his two front teeth are really bizarre to me. Very like, large. Yeah. It's like Bugs Bunny teeth. I, I constantly... I, see I constantly kept staring at them. I was like, oh, this is weird. Who was the lady? Amy Mann is her name or something? Leslie, like, Leslie Mann. Mann. It's Judd Apatow's wife. I don't know. She just... Wholly unappealing. Yeah, she's a pretty she's, lady, but, like, just... She's, the, she's very so cringe worthy. Yeah. She's really fucking annoying. And she movie. really reminded she should have been a character from like The Office where everybody is like yeah. retarded. You know what I mean? Yeah. The entire movie she's like doing stupid retarded shit. And yeah. not in the service of comedy, unfortunately. No. I mean, I did laugh in this movie. 
And uh, I will say that it's it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought this was going to be like... How bad were the emotional moments, though? Yeah, the emotional moments. They're so, I was so disconnected from them, I just wanted to yeah. leave. Yeah, there, there was some really cringy... And since, and since shit. it's about three daughters, they all happen back to back to back. Yeah. Separately. Yeah, it's um, it's not a well made. How about film. the uh, the turning point when they're at their lowest? They're arguing outside the car. Oh my god, I want to shoot myself. I go outside the car. After they. F After they flip that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't need to worry about spoilers. This is just a fucking yeah. stupid movie. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, it's, uh, there's some one-liners that I liked, you know, like, um... Again, were there any, there was a couple jokes. The one with the Asian kid who <laughs> kicks him in the face. The break dancing. That was a setup joke. <laughs> All the setup jokes it's I could Asian. see, like, as soon as they pulled yeah. up to the parents' house and they're fucking, I'm like, oh. I was hoping I, it'd be an Eyes Wide funny. Shut party. I was hoping it'd be an Eyes Wide Shut party. Yeah, I was like, at first I was like, wow, is this gonna go, like... This is gonna fucking like become like the people under the stairs. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> or, like, don't that would breathe. be so much. That's even better than what I thought of. <laughs> that's why it <laughs> shut us nothing. People under the stairs. Yeah. I was... See a gimp running around. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, wow, like what the fuck is happening? <laughs> that's an underrated movie. I like people, people under, under the stairs. stairs. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Wes Craven. Rest in peace. Yeah, he just um, died unfortunately. This, yeah. this was. Um, wait, if you really have any desire to see it, don't. And if, <laughs> if you can't, you don't have the will to withstand the, that urge, download it illegally. <laughs> FYI, Rudy Land does not condone illegally downloading films. Oh, yeah. It frowns upon it. Yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. It's like a dead snake, is how well, a penis was described. <laughs> I've never thought. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe that's... when you're like at half mast, but no, I'm pretty sure my dick doesn't have scales on. <laughs> oh, I should consult a physician. <laughs> yeah, get some cream for that. <laughs> Don't you guys worry. I rub that cream in all day. Yeah, every the day, old natural cream. I'm taking the old. Uh, Meat pony to uh, something town. <laughs> Taking the meat pony to, to Jillsville. <laughs> Do you think any of the girls were over, were 18 or over? Um, ah, it's, it's tough. It's close. One of them I thought was really hot. Which I, one? The Indian, the Indian chick. one? Yeah, yeah, I thought she was I was really too. fucking into the Indian chick. I like the dorky one at, after she <sighs> lost her glasses and she was laying down yeah. in those tits. They were rocking, my friends. Yeah, I, I was... And bonus there. perk, she's into girls. Oh, this yeah. character is. Yeah, uh, we, we finally got our first lesbian I loved the, the cape show. twirl. I loved the cape twirl. <laughs> yeah, you were really into that. Other than that, it was that. just the same thing over and over and over again. They just kept doing... Yeah. She would not be talking to the dude or talking to her friends. Then yeah. she notices the Asian girl she's into. Who's like into like LARPing or some shit. Yeah, nerd shit. Essentially, yeah. if you're a lesbian in movies, you're either a nerd or you're like a gearhead. Right. These are the patterns I notice <laughs> about lesbianism. Anyone interested in hearing one of my lectures, lesbianism in popular culture, contact Rudy Land. All the at great YouTube. lesbian scenes to jerk off to. <laughs> no, just observe, you know, take in, watch. There was yeah, a little one here, but that, I, the girl was so small, I fear she actually was 16 <laughs> or 15. Yeah. The Asian one wasn't, though. She was kind of sexy. The Indian chick? Yeah, she was... No, the that. Asian uh, lesbian. Oh, you thought she was hot? Ugh. She's cute. I kind of... I don't know why, but uh, Asians kind of do it for me. I liked all the... I liked her hair. Really? Weird hair colors mm. do it for me, too. Oh, boy. I'm a sick man, folks. <laughs> Like I don't just bang cadavers. <laughs> Her fucking face. Yeah. We'll shine this bed up real nice, baby. Oh, you bring your friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> you bring your friend, too. What were your problems with this movie? Um, well, it's it's terribly shot. It's just an ugly movie. It looks like a fucking sitcom. Very generic. That's what I was yeah. thinking. That's another thing that I was Jesus. thinking, too, with Leslie Mann. Leslie Mann. <laughs> She's yeah, acting like, like she should be on The Office. It was just very... She's the same in every fucking movie. She's like Paul Rudd. Nah. I don't mind Paul Rudd, though. He's okay. I, keep, I can take him. Yeah. I liked Ant-Man. Yeah, he was decent in that. I mean, he's expanding his horizons, <laughs> I guess. Cool. 
Yeah, you can do that when you make a, you know, yeah. uber millions of dollars goddamn action Marvel movie. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole subplot of one of the girls being a lesbian, that really did not work for me. I was like, God, this is fucking painful. Is it uncom- Is it common for girls who are senior years to wait to have sex <laughs> until prom night? I, I didn't. I couldn't yeah. even tell you one virgin that I knew in high school yeah. who was a girl. I mean, who was also pretty. <laughs> who was extremely attractive, yeah. Yeah, three extremely attractive women who... Uh, extremely... The one extremely attractive, I, 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 two pretty one, hot young one, girls. One, one, right? one I two pretty saying. young girls. Yeah, let's just yeah, keep well, it legal. All right? Fuckable women. <laughs> I'll put it that way. After their 18th birthday, <laughs> if, if it has or, not yet or passed, if U- or if you're in the UK or Australia, 16. <laughs> Alabama, isn't it like 14 or something? Uh, That's a so, joke. No it's always been a joke, but I don't know if it's true. If she's 14 and she's your sister, it's okay. <laughs> Jesus. Incest and uh, predatory sexual thoughts. Rudy yeah. Land, a podcast. I mean, uh, the movie wasn't all lost. I got to see Jer- Gina Gershon's tits, which was nice. I didn't recognize her. I knew yeah, I, I knew I, I'd, I'd seen her before, but I didn't Gina recognize Gershon. her. She was in yeah, Face Off. Cool. You should see that lesbian movie she made. Oh, yeah, Bound. Yeah, I've seen it. Wachowski's made. You think I didn't know that? Yeah. A Room with a View is also Her, good. A Room with a View. Yeah. It was on Netflix for a while. Really? These yeah. two English birds are, like, in Venice, and they totally just hang out and bang all day. Really? It sounds like and a also French talk movie. about their feelings. Yeah, it sounds like a French movie. Yeah, I'm done with that. I take in all cultures, guys. Oh, yeah. You're there ain't well. no shame in my game. <laughs> A real culture aficionado. That's right. <laughs> Did you know that um, in America, the middle finger is an obscene gesture? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's for our international <laughs> listeners. So don't ever flip. That's what they flipping in somebody China, off means. In China, giving somebody the pinky is a fuck you. I remember that Oh, one man. No wonder all those Chinese guys threw fucking rice at me that one time. <laughs> Uh, cock yeah. blockers. It's uh, another line, law in the long line of just. I'm trying to think of the things that I like. Oh yeah, you left the theater during one scene where they all just threw up on each other, which was funny. The girls the <laughs> inside the limo <laughs> when they were was going. Was that away. before or after the little lesbian poked her head up through the sunroof and threw up on the parents' car? Not, that was before when you left the theater. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a funny moment. And the limo driver who I liked, he had this he was line. Good. Guess what his name was? <laughs> no, I don't know. Rudy. Oh yeah. <laughs> he shares a good namesake. Let's say. It was, it was, it was really funny. Like you were you were gone during this moment, but they're chasing the car, and he sees them in the rearview mirror, and he's got some line. He's like, "Oh man, no, nah, this shit ain't gonna happen. You ain't ever catching up to me, motherfucker." <laughs> I don't need no more dead teenage girls on my mind, on my conscience. Yeah, he he was, he was good. good. He was pretty funny. Uh, there was one fucking line that I really. There liked. should have been more Gary Cole. Gary Cole, the guy who played the dudes, the banging Gina Gershon dude. Oh yeah, him. I didn't know his, the guy from Office Space. Yeah, exactly. Who plays uh, the uh, the boss? Yeah. We he... need that by Friday. That'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, he's a really good actor. Uh, he's funny in the movie. <laughs> this, this, yeah, I like the scene where um, they're like um, the the subtitles are going up because they're in the people's oh, house. Yeah. During the... <laughs> they're doing a sort of blind blindfolded sex yeah. act that is unspeakable yeah. and unholy. So I was saying for people, there's a lot of male nudity in this movie. <laughs> At the end, they. <laughs> There's a moment where John Cena is also... It's a different scene, but he's blindfolded walking around looking for his little Indian wife. They show him at, like, normal level. Then, for no reason at all, just zoom in right on his ass. Yeah, well, it was directed by a woman, so... They also did the ass shot um, when he's chugging ass beer. There's also an ass shot when the 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 kids are fucking in the in the car. car. <laughs> night. It's a lot of male, that was funny. I like that. I could you see him. They're talking about it, and then you see the car shaking right behind them. <laughs> yeah, I thought which, that was funny. Yeah, that was okay. Um, yeah, Ike Barinholtz 
He was he was decent. He was. Funny. Did you? What did you think of John Cena? Um, at first I was like, oof, this yeah, is rough. Yeah, me too. It but was then, terrible. Then it, then it evened out, and I was like, okay. He's, when he started acting moments. stupid. Yeah. It was better. But then towards the end, it dipped down again for me. Like there's a lot more. There was a lot more bad moments than good with him yeah. for me. Yeah. For but there sure. was definitely some, you know, kind of genuinely humorous moments with him. Yeah, there was there was moments like I did laugh in the movie. Um, I would definitely never want to see this movie ever again. Yeah. <laughs> I wish likely. I remembered what the fucking line was. That pisses me off. Which one? Um, oh, I can't think of it. <laughs> Who said it? Uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was John Cena. It was like towards the beginning. It was like with the parents. FYI, Indian girl, if you're lonely <laughs> and you're looking for a degenerate like Rudy Land to roll up <laughs> next to in the night, baby, let me be your rug. You can roll me all night oh, long. Yeah. If you're 18. <laughs> if If you're 18. Well, I mean, you don't have to be 18. You just, I, you just, we need to meet as soon as you're about to turn 18, <laughs> like at midnight. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't take no chances. I say on the minute that she was born. That's when it counts. <laughs> on the minute when she was born. That's right. Because if you want to get, you want to get technical. Yeah, I want to get technical. Yeah. We're gonna get so technical. We're going to get technical. You got to okay? talk. You got to, you got to talk to her mom, and be like, "Yo, when did you shit this baby out?" There's <laughs> like a fox running. It's pretty cool. No. I thought it was a miniature horse. No. How small do horses get? Uh, like ponies. I want like a dog-sized horse. You want a dog -sized Not horse. like the one that was on Fantasy Factory or whatever the Rob <laughs> Deerdeck show was. Oh yeah. Even smaller. Like I'm talking. You know that guy's Like those dead? fennec deers. Not, not Rob, but the, the big, big black yeah, dude. Yeah, he's big dead. Uh, big black. Rob big. I used to love watching that show. It's very goofy. Yeah, it was totally scripted, but, you know. Nah. I never really thought about that much. I every just, every was... reality show is scripted. That's not true. <laughs> I watched this, um, this reality show. Big Brother's real, bro. This reality show. <laughs> it, it was about all these little kids, and they were getting gas attacked and stuff. Gas I think it was on PBS. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're confusing that with some sort of child pornography. Gas attacked. <laughs> Gas attacked. You know, like fucking the fucking Kurds and shit. Yeah. I was describing a um documentary. Yeah. I was pretending that I thought it was real. Documentary show. air quote. <laughs> I wish that Ike Barinholtz was in that game night movie. He replaced uh, the idiot in it. Really? I would have liked that. I I I'm glad he wasn't in game night. I, I'm not a fan of Mike Barinholtz, really. Yeah. I do not like him. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. He's he okay. um, does well as the idiot man. He, he's not a guy who's the exact same thing in every movie. He's just like... Yeah. And when... when I haven't seen him in any other movies. He was in Neighbors. Um, yeah, he was in Neighbors, which the sequel to that was I saw Neighbors awful. one night at 3 a.m. when I was drunk. I didn't really enjoy yeah. it that much. Yeah, I thought Neighbors I remember okay. somebody could get a boner on command or something. Yeah. Like one of Zac Efron's friends or something. I don't remember. I don't really recall. Yeah. It was 3 a.m. And I'm, I was feeling lonely. <laughs> I can't remember. I was going to sing the rest of that song, but I honestly don't know what it is. Yeah, there was one song it. in here in the movie that I kind of liked. All the songs. I hated all the songs. It was all techno y poppy yeah, shit. Yeah. Well, there was one song that I kind of want to look up, want to listen to it. This, um. It did have a, lot, a few moments where they tried to. And just nail in that sort of feminism angle, and it's yeah. like, do you guys realize what movie? It's a dumb teen comedy about, well, not even teen comedy because it's rated R, right? Yeah. <clears throat> dumb, a dumb comedy for dumb adults. Well, most all of the, I mean, Animal House, Porky's, all those were rated R. Yeah. You know, so. I haven't seen American Porky's Pie. in a while. Yeah, all of those movies suck, in my opinion. You don't like Animal House? I've never been into Animal House. I never mm. got it. I really just never did. I never There's some movies it where it's like, I know it's going to be dumb, and you, I just got to go in and be ready for yeah. silliness, that's just, and I'm ready. That's just one of those movies, man. It's like every There's like a cultish fucking fever around that movie. Yeah. Same thing with Blues Brothers. Like, I don't fucking you know, like, get it, man. I don't fucking get it. It's, it's not funny. Well, Blues Brothers, it's the funny, funny, but it's man. also the music part. Like, fucking John Lee Hooker's in that. 
The dude who sings Minnie the Mooch is See, like some famous like, guy. Making a big deal about the car chase and the Blues Brothers. Like, I don't fucking give a fuck. This movie's it's stupid. a pretty good car chase. You gotta admit it's that. A good car chase, but I mean, it's like I don't just I don't fucking care. I just think the movie's so stupid. Yeah. But whatever. To each his own. Like yeah. I don't I don't have these cult feelings behind those two movies. I just like them. I think they're good movies. Yeah. Just because you don't like them, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're a fucking moron. No, no. I just I've just I don't get it. Like, I, when I watch it, i right, like, answer me this. When um, John Belushi is on a ladder looking at the topless women, why does he fall off the ladder? Why do you think? I can't remember. I, I haven't seen He gets a chub, years. and it pushes oh, it yeah, the ladder no, off. Oh, yeah. Just that a nice little chub that you don't notice. That does sound familiar. Or remember, actually, since you haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. This movie, Game Night, is not what we saw, but we did see it. <laughs> I'm slowly derailing this train as quickly as possible. <laughs> Cock blockers. There's, it was just they tr they try to put in this feminist ideology, and it's like which makes sense. You're doing it for surprised. this fucking. Not you're, surprised at all. You gotta have some sort of hook, some sort of some message. Gotta make the kids. But it was so feel dis good. it was so disconnected. Like it's a movie about just girls trying to lose their virginity. And parents trying to stop it. And it's really more about the par parents. The whole yeah. movie is just really with the parents for the most part. Because the parents, they have the highs and the lows. Like, they fucking unload on them. Um, yeah. The dude, not John Cena. Like, Baron Holtz. Yeah. It was, um... All the emotional moments were terrible when they were trying to be funny. There was you one... get a couple chuckles out of it. There was one moment it. where she's talking about her mom... She's talking to her mom, and she says the reason why I wanted to go to UCLA was to be oh, far yeah. away from yeah, that. And that, that one, work. that one worked. But that was just um, that one part of yeah. that entire talk. Yeah, it wasn't the entire talk, and that was no, the no, no. crowning. It was just, it was, it was just that one movie. And anytime it tries to get sentimental, like the music, it's so saccharine, sweet, and ridiculous. Yeah, it and was it's bad. just like, like I said, it feels like a fucking sitcom. What like a tone? Bad fucking who sitcom. directed it? Do you know? Uh, the I name of the director is the chick who wrote all the Pitch Perfect movies or something like that. Mm. I haven't, I haven't seen even any of those I haven't now. even seen those, and I know that I they're the, probably. I bad. saw the trailer for Pitch Perfect three, like it was like months ago. They were showing it, and I, every time it came on, I was like, "Man, I want to blow my fucking." Brains Do you think out. that redhead lead has like dwarfism or something? I bet in, she's like twenty. Pitch Perfect. I bet she's like twenty five. She looks like she's fucking eighteen I, forever. I don't know. These are the thoughts of Rudy Land, wondering if people are dwarves or not. I myself am a giant dwarf. <laughs> a giant dwarf. No, we were talking about Hobbit and Lord of the Rings earlier. <laughs> and they talked about it in the movie. That was yeah. weird. Oh, that, that's another thing I want to bring up. There's some horrible movie references. There was well, they one... got to show that she's a nerd. No, no, I'm talking about Ike Barinholtz. He keeps talking about Inferno. With Tom Hanks. Yeah, it kept going. It was that. He's it was like, for one scene, but he just keeps the bringing it up. Fuck! I, I knew like, what it was immediately. I'm this, like, yeah. first of all, I was like, this movie was a gigantic flop. It's the third entry in the fucking Da Vinci Code fucking movies. It was a steaming pile of fucking shit. It's garbage. So, Why are you? Yeah, I've did seen you it. see all of them? Yeah, I've seen them all, and they fucking all <laughs> suck, man. They're fucking awful. I've seen parts of the first and the second one. I, yeah, I don't really know how I directed them, and it's. What is Ron Howard's big movie? Apollo 13? Apollo what 13. else? He did uh, Backdraft, which I still haven't seen. Me I've heard it's really good. It's a Kurt Russell's fire yeah, movie. Yeah, Kurt Russell and uh, um, Billy Baldwin. He, uh, he directed, uh, he's directed some good movies. The Grinch? He did direct The Grinch, which I saw in the theater. I did too. Um, oh my god, we're like brothers. <laughs> um, what else did he direct? That's more interesting than talking about blockers. See, now um, that you think about it, I can't think of a single, like, a good... He like, did The original. Missing, which was a Western. The Missing? Yeah, with Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones. Jones. It was on Netflix. I never yeah. saw it. It's decent. Um, yeah, just, just IMDb. I'll yeah. go through it. Um, Can you look that up for us, Janine? Sure, Janine. Mr. Rudy Land. Yeah, show the production value of this show. Look at IMDb. <laughs> Who said it? Hey, hey, hey. No free plugs. It's no free plugs. I'm going to... I'm gonna Google. I thought you were gonna go get a drink when you left. I was like, I was, like, nah, I, was I just I was getting kind of bored and I wanted to take a piss. Yeah, I wish I had like a nice snapple. 
when I was in the theater. I was like, I could use a nice Snapple. Yeah. I haven't had a Snapple in at least 10 years. <laughs> I, you just don't think about it. A beautiful mind. Yeah, a beautiful mind. Arrested Development. Um, beautiful mind's decent. Ooh, Rush Inferno. Was okay. <laughs> Inferno. Um, Splash. What, what the... F what are you... Is this is this the filmography section? Oh yeah, Cinderella Man was decent. Cocoon. He didn't direct Cocoon. He may have been in it. Oh, he was still Jesus, young enough, for him. Frost Nixon. He directed. I didn't yeah, see it. Didn't see it either. Far and away, huh? That fucking beautiful Irish accent of Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, I have no desire to get go down. Ransom that, is decent. That yeah, Ransom. I remember it. I, Ransom's um, a pretty good. Movie I saw when I was younger. Seven. I haven't seen it since then though. Yeah. Give me back my son! <laughs> That's for every preview. Yeah. Give me back my son! Yeah. Every description. Give me back my son! There's such that badass scene where he's on, he's saying about how he wants his son back on the, the TV. The Dark Tower. On the TV. And, uh. Did he, does he, he say, he, he, Osmosis Jones? Does he say, Osmosis Jones. Give me back my son! <laughs> he says that he'll give the ransom money to whoever finds yeah, the guy. I remember that. And I was like, oh, this is a badass. Gary scene. Sinise, right? Gary He's Sinise the was the villain, yeah. Who was the ladies in it? Not his wife, but the um, uh, bad girl. Ooh, uh, bad girl. I don't know the bad girl, but I remember his wife was Renee Russo. Yeah. What happened to her? She was After in Nightcrawler, dude. Four. Oh, yeah, she was the Fucking, producer. She was the shit. And, Nightcrawler. She was really good. She was a whore, essentially. Uh, but we're not going to get into that right now, okay? We're not talking. It's more interesting than talking about Nightcrawler interpretations. Movie. Well, give me what are what other scenes happening here that you recall? Because it's very you can't remember. It's anything? like it's like a the, um, the butt chugging version of amnesia. The butt chugging party sequence was actually funny. Like even though I saw it from the trailer, I was like, wow, this is this is actually an interesting scene where they're talking about. Oh, uh, you lube it up for me. <laughs> he's yeah, like, oh, I'll spit strange. on it. And he's like, no, I don't want your fucking saliva on there. He's like, oh, yeah. I got some lip balm. <laughs> that was that was actually funny. Uh, it didn't do it for me. Really? It was, I thought you were laughing. Kind of that I may have, but yeah. now I'm thinking about it. I don't remember it being funny. I can't really say, honestly. Yeah, I mean, we, we were laughing. It's just, it's, it's, it's not a good movie. Go in knowing that it's going to be dumb. Oh yeah, rent it. Knowing it was, it's going to be really, it was definitely, really dumb and bad. I'm glad I saw the trailer for this movie. I'm not a so bad. It's good movie no, though. There's no. not enough mistakes. It looks too much like a sitcom. Like, yeah. um, John Cena broke into the house. That was that was an that. interesting sequence. The butt chugging sequence. Like there, there was funny stuff at the beginning that I just can't remember. The um, Indian girl's boyfriend, who also was this weird oh, yeah. drug chef. Yeah, that, that was super annoying. That was a good thing to bring up because remember when we saw the trailer the first time you called that he was going to be gay? Because they had the scene where they're like, oh yeah, we're going to fuck. You're going to fuck me. You're going to stick your dick in my vagina. Was he gay? No, he wasn't gay. He was totally straight in the end. Oh. Well, so it totally we felt like it, It though, felt like it, it was gonna. I thought for sure we every were Every totally time late. he would, every 15 minutes or so, he'd serve her some weed or something. This is a, uh, this is a hash oil infused with rosemary, turmeric. Well, that was something yeah. like, you don't want to mix DMT and hash oil, my friends. From what I hear. Oh, he said it was like a DMT, like wafer, vanilla wafer. Oh, it's like what are raspberry those things? cream. Like an Italian macaroon, but he macaroon. said it weird. He said like macaroon. Yeah. He said it strange. It just was very fucking annoying. annoying character. Yeah. Like him and his man bun. Why are you bring? who cares about the fucking wheat hash oil infused with rosemary and turmeric? Who cares about the macaroon infused with DMT <laughs> he's, he's and uh, Vicodin? No, it was uh, Xanax. Xanax. Get it right, Good motherfucker. Call. Get it right, motherfucker. Fact check. USA. We <laughs> land. And Jared Jeffries. <laughs> we got him on loan from the NBA. And he loves talking films. Almost as yeah. much as he loves Asian lesbians. <laughs> with capes. I'm gonna... Yeah. Alright, confession time. <laughs> you love you some I lesbians. Feel, I feel kind of bad about this, but I also feel it was kind of funny, too. What? In ninth or 10th grade, Earth Science. Oh, God. There was this girl... A dark story. <laughs> she was wearing a cape. Yeah. A cloak. Cloak. And me and this other girl, she was a good friend of mine. We'd yeah. been in classes for like the last four or five years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. We're just sitting there. This girl's got a cloak on. She stands up. I don't know. She complains about something or she says something dumb. And I just yell, nice cloak. <laughs> I put my head down. She turns around. She's like, 
<laughs> the meanest look right. you've ever, the meanest like glare. If eyes, if a stare could kill, yeah, I'd be six feet under, my friends. Uh, really? Uh, what a bad but it still was kind of funny. I nice laughed so cloak. hard after she turned back around. Nice cloak. <laughs> that was it. That's all you said. Nice cloak. And she was offended. <laughs> it was right in the middle of class, and she oh. was standing up making a point about something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Okay, though. that's actually funny. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I, it's like, I still it was like feel a fucking kind of bad though. She was like, "What a PowerPoint presentation?" <laughs> She's no, like, she just nice cloak. standing up answering a question. Oh, otherwise she would have known it was me saying it because she would have seen. Oh, yeah. see, you gotta be, you gotta outsmart these women. Oh yeah, much like John Cena. <laughs> it, what is is he good in anything? I feel like we've gone over this, was, but I just want to wrap it up again. Just want to hear it again. He was in some like. Weird, uh, like Die Hard ripoff that the guy who directed Die Hard 2 directed. I'm trying to think of the name Remy of it. Har Rennie Harlan. Yeah. You he, forget his name every it was, time. Yeah, it was, what the fuck was the name of the movie? The Recruit. No, nah, that wasn't The Recruit. That was with Colin Farrell and Al Pacino. That was a piece of shit. What was um, the one with the Jack Nicholson and Benicio Del Toro? But Benicio Del Toro dies in the beginning, and Jack Nicholson's trying to find this child killer. Sean Penn directed it, I think. Or The Crossing Guard. The Pledge. Oh, was The Crossing Guard good? I can't remember. I do love Sean, Sean Penn directed it, though. Yeah, I do love Sean Penn's first movie, The Indian Runner. I think that's a really good movie. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's with Viggo Mortensen and David Morse, and uh, it's really good. What happened to Viggo Mortensen? He, uh, once he made all that money uh, from Just Lord of the really Rings. He gets to do whatever he wants. He's, he's like this Daniel Day Lewis type actor where he just like doesn't do a lot of movies. I've seen him in a few things recently. He gets to choose what he wants to do. He does like super, super like indie movies. The last um, big movie I remember him being in was the Cronenberg pair. Um, oh, History of Violence and Eastern, and Eastern Promises. Eastern Promises. Fucking fantastic. Love Which one movies. did you like better? Um... Well, I think Eastern Promises is a better movie. I think it's the yeah. best one they've made, but I love a history of violence. Do you violence. think that's the best movie he's ever made? No, I'm saying of the movies they made together. Okay. The three. What are there? What's the third? Uh, Dangerous Method, the movie about, uh, free, uh, not freaking, uh, the psychiatrists, the famous ones. Fucking, uh. Acid one or something? Oh, God, what's his name? He's the Freud, most famous Freud, one. Okay. and the other dude. Um, Pavlov? No, nah, not Pavlov. Michael Fassbender plays the guy. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Um, is it good? Yeah, it, it's interesting. It's worth a watch. I, um... But the I last few Cronenberg it. movies have been fucking awful. I haven't even heard of uh, them. No. Map to the Stars and Cosmopolis. With, they were both with Robert Pattinson. And they were fucking awful. Yeah, I saw oh, that. I saw Jesus. one at, like, um... One of them a in, store, Cosmopolis. Cos, I'm like, oh wait, uh, David Cronenberg made God, this, but it, then the whole movie's like in a limousine. It's fucking awful. He's been had such good, such good movies. I like A History of Violence the best. I think. Oh, so do I. But it's um, not as good as Eastern Promises. Eastern Promises is a way better made film. Like, yeah, I. There's it's no more way. compelling. But I like. I just like everything about History of it's Violence. It's based on a, a comic, more. actually, a graphic novel. I could see that. It's a really good novel, too, graphic novel. Um, it's very yeah. similar to the to the uh, movie. Um, but, yeah, I, I that movie's so fucking good. There's a really weird sex scene that was extremely awkward in the theater when I was on the dad. stairs? Yeah, and also when she's wearing, like, that... Um, Cheerleader outfit? Yeah, he's going, they're 69 <laughs> I, I bought a bootleg version, <laughs> and they cut it out of it. Really? I was pissed. About a bootleg version of A History of Violence? Back when um, I was buying DVDs, when DVD proliferation had first begun, I would scour the internet for the cheapest disc. And often, bad I would be screwed. Yeah, bad Scarface, enough. bootleg, came with bootleg Kangaroo Jack. Still haven't seen Kangaroo Jack. Yeah, with Steve Kangaroo. O'Donnell. Yeah, I've seen And Kangaroo Anthony Jack. Anderson. They were playing it on the TV when I was at work like a few months ago. Um, Do you know Michael Shannon was in that movie? He plays the villain. I'm not surprised. He was he was not He's really good at it. I'm yeah. watching this. I'm like, holy shit! Michael Shannon is captivating in Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> well, for a while, that's he was just like a character actor. He would oh, just yeah. be like he was, he was the in, mechanic. He was in the bad, husband. He was in Bad Boys too for like three scenes. I haven't seen it still. Yeah. Was um, he the bad guy? No, no. He was like this this guy to precinct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Michael Shannon. He's fucking great. 
Have you ever seen Videodrome? Any of Cronenberg's early films? I haven't seen Videodrome. Naked yet. Lunch? No, I haven't seen. I haven't seen like anything that he's had on Criterion. So all the yeah. movies on Criterion I haven't seen. Scan like the oh you know I have seen. oh I love Scanners I gotta buy that. I have. That's one it. thing I wanted to talk to you about. I mean this yeah. is this is just gonna be all over the place. This one. This um, one. I mean we've. We'll give just give your rating of Cotton yeah. We'll blockers, give a rating, so we'll, we'll get just, it over with. Um, this is going to be a no cuts version. Yeah, I'll give it like a four, I guess. I mean, it's it's not good, but yeah, I, I was wavering at times between a five, and I was like, nah, nah, I can't. Like especially the end of this movie, the last twenty minutes, I was like, it goes oh. on and on and on. It's not even a long movie either. This is only an hour forty. It felt like a, a lot. It should be ninety moment. minutes. It really should be ninety minutes. That would have made it a lot better. Um. Yeah, I'd give it like a four. I um, I'm in total disagreement. <laughs> I um, I thought this movie was dreadfully boring. I hated the uh, emotional parts. Yeah, I liked the lesbian stuff, but it did <laughs> get overplayed quite fast. I give this movie a four. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I chuckled here and there. Yeah. There was a couple times where Leslie Mann made really weird faces that made me laugh. Yeah. And Ike Barinholtz as well. And you were really amused by that Asian lesbian chick. You were laughing every time she was on the screen. That was... You were enamored. very... You were a very... Asian lesbian chick, if you're out there <laughs> and you're lonely, you know. I always play this weird music Mann. every time. It was the, the same one. Music That's why like, it got annoying. It was the same, yeah. the same sort of... Yeah. Boo, 80s kind of boom, yeah. boom, boom. I mean, if you're a tween girl, yeah, sure, whatever, go see it. <laughs> yeah. They made a big deal about the lesbian thing. I feel like if a girl or a dude was like best friends with somebody, they'd feel fine just saying, all right, yeah. I'm into dudes. So now I'm, I'm not a... going to a sex <laughs> pact and try to have sex with what I thought was a gay dude right, yeah. for his fashion choices. Yeah. Well, that'll be the end of that. <laughs> Let's, let's go on to talking about more interesting things like Criterion. I love Naked <laughs> Lunch. People out yeah. there, if you're ready for a movie with virtually no plot, no narrative... Well, of course, it's William S. Burroughs, who is a fucking insane heroin addict. Yeah. <laughs> I like that it's they made It's stream of me, conscious heroin addict. They made me think of uh, <laughs> Shallow Graves with this one at the end. Are, we, are they going to inject heroin about? into pe his penis? Oh, right. Oh, okay. Shallow Graves, not as great. Danny Boyle. It's one know. of his better movies, but I'm it's not, not that great. I'm a Danny Boyle fan, honestly. Like, I, I mean, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen, still haven't seen Slumdog, and I uh, haven't seen it either. I haven't seen 127 Hours either. Me um, neither. I had no. I'm not a big James Franco fan, to be honest. <sighs> you really should see Spring Breakers. I love his performance in Spring Breakers. I hate his voice. Look at my shit. Look at my shit. Look at my shit. <laughs> I feel like I get annoyed really quickly yeah, with it. Yeah, maybe you would. It's really well shot, though. But it's got all that uh, great Skrillex action that you'd love. You'd love the score oh, of Skrillex. <laughs> I don't mind techno music, but it's it's too oh, God, much. You would fucking techno. I don't it's mind just it. Electronic. No, it's like <laughs> that's what that's the shorthand in movies nowadays for fun party. Anything can happen. We're going crazy. Do you know what I mean? That's how I mean, techno music has been popular for a long fucking time. Yeah, no, I don't just like techno music, music, but they're over. They're just relying every on these scene, tropes every to party just. Scene, yeah. There's an, you can think. I'm pretty sure you can come up with another way to say, "Hey, it's a good, really awesome party. Everyone's going crazy." Well, I mean, if it's like a rave where everyone's dropping acid, you gotta have like crazy. Yeah, techno but was plan. was this a rave with everyone dropping acid? No, uh, it wasn't the beginning of Blade, that's for sure. <laughs> I like Blade's beginning. Dude, Blade's I'm beginning fucking was fucking amazing. awesome. That's one of the best intros to a movie oh, ever. Incredible. Yeah. Motherfucker, you out of your goddamn mind? Yeah, I gotta rewatch it. I have the Blu-ray. I had the VHS. Yeah. I'm sure I it's that movie. destroyed or somewhere. Actually, uh, supposedly one of the best Blu-ray transfers of all time. Hopefully they There's fixed the... the uh, they fixed the animations. <laughs> the CGI monster. It was towards embarrassing. The end. Yeah, that I don't. Yeah, I know. I, I remember it being bad on VHS. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, yeah. oh yeah, and the fat heads when he gets yeah. like um, the antidote or whatever. Yeah. Looks kind of rough, but yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a nice little action. I like. That's one of uh, easily one of my favorite Wesley Snipes films. 
Yeah, Wesley Snipes. Because honestly, so. I can't really think of too many others. White men can't jump. Yeah, U.S. Marshals is decent. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm trying to think Not as good as else. The Fugitive, no way. Why did I, The I'd Fugitive win watch, an Oscar? I'd rather watch U.S. Marshals than The Fugitive, yeah. honestly. I think The Fugitive is like... H. Bad. It's just a boring film to me. I don't. I don't yeah. like it. I sort of. I can get. I like. I can get down with sort of detective procedural shows. I like detective movies. I just. I'm not. This into that it goes movie. into too much detail. The whole fucking guy with the arm. Well, think really about it. Not it. only this, Richard had they. What's his name is uh, Ford. What's the name of uh, the Tommy Lee Jones? Tommy Lee character. Jones's character in the movie, Sam Gerard. He won an Oscar for that. I Bro. could see that, but the, why did the movie win Best Picture? I don't think so. Okay. I only think he won an Oscar for acting. In he's got to. It's got. He's got to find Ford. <clears throat> he's got to find Richard. Yeah. Richard's got to find the real killer. Figure out who he is and Time, then find yeah. him. Yeah, it's not a bad movie. Like it is a well-made movie. But it's I'm boring. Not I get it. I'm I not just, trying to. You know. Pick rake me. me on the fucking coals. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's 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 okay. I mean, Harrison Ford for me. In you like U.S. Marshals better though. Yeah. It's just kind of a I stupid fun action movie. I think that one is more movie. boring because it is a stupid really? fun action movie. I like exactly. Robert Downey Jr. in that a lot. He's okay. It's not bad. I was right in the thick of uh, just snorting coke every day. <laughs> yeah. He, um, I remember that. He got yeah. caught. They found him at a hotel with mad guns and mad blow, ready yeah. to kill himself. Yeah, him and Charlie Sheen just fucking doing lines off hookers' asses. <laughs> and now Charlie Sheen has AIDS. Yeah. Well, you know, that's thumbs the brakes, I suppose. Yeah, well, I mean, when you're fucking raw dog and hookers, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> there was a lot of condom talk in a movie we saw. No. It was called Cockblockers. So you were talking about gonna Scanners. And <laughs> Criterion. Scanners is okay. It's not okay. It's fucking Once awful. I watch it Amazing. once, it's all right. I like the effects. The effects are really into, what draw me into you're it. You're not into the whole psychic movies, are you? I f it's like reminds me of I should I saw that episode of South Park where I they know. made fun of it first, and now it's funny. Do you know, just look at me. Imagine a movie where I'm just looking at you and I'm like, it's, it's an okay, it's a good movie. Oh, I'm not saying it's a bad it. movie, but I'm saying Videodrome is a thousand times better. There's so much depth. There's so much. Well, what what works for bizarre you? imagery? I think with horror. It's really subjective with what works and what doesn't. I, I love the I concept. watched the thing last night. Oh, you did? I had to send my fucking Scream Factory back. Why? The fucking... The, the, my shit and I came in, I ordered three movies, and the fucking side of the spine was cut and the artwork was damaged, and I was like... Lame. Is the new was, artwork, artwork good? Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. What does looking. it look like? Um, It's Kurt Russell with the flame floor, and everybody Is in the movie is surrounding. Is it cartoonized? It's, it's hand-drawn. And it looks really good. I have, but it's a reversible cover, so yeah, if you I know. love the original. I have the Fog in the They Live version. Yeah. I like the original covers way better. So you just flip them right over? Yeah. Yeah. At first, they come with the new art. Yeah. Um. It, well, at first, I'm like, all right, it's kind of cool. Well, but you, then I look at the reverse, I'm like, They Live? That's the most like iconic fucking art poster Art yeah. poster I can think of, Well, probably. I mean, the cool thing is like, if you get the slip cover, then... You have the new artwork, and, and then you can just have, it's as soon as you have the, you have the original, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I, I had to, yesterday I had to fucking print the return labels off, and, and I had my dad send it to fucking UPS. Lame. What movies? Uh, I got Rap... They Live. No, no, <laughs> fuck They Live. They're the I'm thing. I got the thing, the Scream Factory. I ordered, um, Rapid Fire, because Rossitron did a video. I Rapid haven't, Fire I've, with Brendan Lee? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't I've seen never, it in a while. I've never seen it. It was five bucks on Amazon. I remember seeing it as a kid. It used to be on like yeah. uh, TV a lot. I remember it being good, but I was a kid, you know? Yeah. So and he, I love Brendan Lee and yeah. Bruce Lee shit. Yeah, so Brandon Lee. Fucking Enter the Dragon has the worst dialogue of any movie ever. If anybody uh, ever rewatches it. I Man, have it on DVD. you straight out of a comic book. Yeah. The black dude <laughs> with the afro. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a movie. <laughs> It's, there's no first action scenes. Yeah. Iconic shit. Fight, the fight stuff is Paul good. All Mirror's stuff is amazing. Um, yeah, so I, I got Rapid Fire, um, the the Thanks Scream Factory, and I also got a Walter Hill movie that I've never seen before called um, Extreme Prejudice. So mm. you're, you, I don't like doing that, buying movies I haven't seen, because even though everyone says it's great, what if, what if you don't like it? Well, first, Just of, like they first of all, I got, 
I got rapid fire because I've never seen it before. I know where I could like get it, and it was five bucks. So like, I don't oh, okay. get a shit, dude. It's like five bucks. Extreme. Well, also, I mean, it's not on Blu-ray, so oh, it's just a DVD for five bucks. Yeah. And uh, Extreme Prejudice. Once again, not on Blu-ray. Um, the the DVD is in one three three, which sucks. But uh, I got it for like six bucks, so that's another like super cheap. Um, thing so and that's another movie that i just could not get anywhere could not find to see yeah. online so um and I'm, i really like walter hill a lot um, his name sounds really familiar give me something else warriors 48 hours um i liked 48 hours. you liked 48 hours and you didn't like fucking blues brothers well because 48 hours is a fucking action movie that's really well filmed and eddie murphy's funnier than fucking dan Aykroyd. Mm. i love john belushi yeah. I, that's another one where I just like just an Animal House on just, SNL. Yeah, fuck yeah. Do you remember what the are scene? the movies that he's? I mean, Animal House. Oh, get it? Oh, what the no, fuck? That, I'll give you that. Animal House. Give me a break. Of that when shit. he's oh, God. when he's sneaking around. That's one of the funniest. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite scenes in that movie, and it's just a guy yeah. per, just sneaking around yeah. badly, just, poorly. Like everything I remember about that movie when they're in the fucking. When's the last time you saw it? years ago but it's like the horse and the fucking dean's office and all the shit when i first saw it when i was a kid on this, nbc man? they had this big like special for like the 15th or 20th yeah. anniversary i watched it i didn't think it was funny i rewatched it you know as an adult yeah you know it's like caddyshack it's just a goofy silly oh, ass God. movie you know like you're bringing either. up all the movies man caddyshack it's not fucking funny it's right. not fucking funny man same thing with Stripes. Rodney Dangerfield. I love Stripes. Fuck off. I that love Bill Murray. Not funny. I love. I'm not Ugh. one of these blind Bill Murray is great guys. I love Bill Murray. Love him. In that God. movie, I love. I love one-liners. I love silly, goofy movies. I'll never forget when I saw that movie. I bought it on DVD at Walmart in like the cheap five dollar bin. Harold Ramis is pretty good too. And, and those I two just, chicks are pretty hot, too. Oh, uh, then the mud fight? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's... I was like, oh, at least I got this to watch. But, yeah, that movie, I'm like, I don't... Are you a joyless prick? <laughs> that's joyless the question prick we gotta talking ask. To another. <laughs> uh, no, I'm I a hip, hipster doofus. Hipster doofus or yeah, something, well, I think. To, I, according to the, de, the the new definition of hipster, we're definitely both hipsters now. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we were the only ones laughing at Death of Stalin. Yeah. Do you think that's a bad sign for us? No, I think it means that we're uh, not uncultured see, swine. See, this is <laughs> see, this is how it starts. Now we are officially hipster doofuses. These morons don't get it. That's why. That's why we're laughing, and they're yeah. not. Yeah, they're on uncultured. Swine. They probably voted for Donald Trump. Fucking degenerates. <laughs> Let's but, talk uh, politics real no, quick, no, since God. I brought it up. I was talking about criteria. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not well, okay. Get, get, I'm get getting I'm getting discussion. kind of sick of this is going to be a podcast. This one I'm getting sick of defending D Donald Trump. I don't hate him, but yeah. there's these people. They like every chance they get. Uh, He's it's... a piece of shit. He's a fuckhead. Yeah. Do you think that the left politicians aren't as big a pieces of shit? You know, it's funny because, like, I'm sure you remember very vividly when George W. Bush Jr. was president. Like, there was so many people, you know, making jokes and stuff about, you know, on SNL. But it was funny. I feel like on every, each side, even if you voted for George Bush Jr., yeah. you were laughing. Yeah, like, Will Ferrell's impersonation was fucking like, great. Yeah, like, right now, it's, like, so over the it's top. It's so hateful, though. It it's is It's so hateful. over the top hateful. And if you... If it's, like, Roseanne went on um, Jimmy Kimmel, I saw this... One of these fucking YouTube ideologists well, she's dissecting it. Yeah, which yeah. is fine. But I, her explanation was exactly exactly on point. Like, I was uh, on the left, but you guys moved where the left is. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's very... Good for her. ...socialist. But anyways, they brought it up, and her show's not even about that. Like it, Well, her show, her Roseanne, they've already renewed it for another season. The, yeah, the I revival. Guess like even it, the old it, one's really popular. Opened, I never got into it. No, neither did I, but like the first episode, like twenty five million people tuned in. Which is See, crazy. That's, that's what that's what uh popular culture media is becoming, man. They're marketing to they're marketing to fucking left or right. Yeah. Fucking well, that's Black Panther, is. fucking Roseanne, like Yeah. Why is it coming why does it have to be about that? Pick why can't side. it just be a show about Pick a family? Side. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways, like 
I don't, I'm just, yeah. people, when he won, they were talking about, like, how the world was ending, like, yeah. guys. People crying in the streets and recording themselves. The politicians, the politicians on the right are just as bad as the ones on the left. Yeah, and, and I and think. And the media focuses on the ones on the left because they share their, yeah. you know, their goals. So, of course, they're going to. Yeah, that I mean, listen, I, I always raise my eyebrow anytime someone calls Donald Trump a Nazi. Right then and there, the conversation's over. Like, yeah. you're comparing him to someone who killed There was somebody at people. work who um was saying, like, God, I would assassinate him if I could. If I could. Yeah, and you like, were probably watching him on the Celebrity you're, Apprentice. You're a liberal, and you think it's... You think it's cool to kill somebody? Yeah, I mean, just because you disagree yeah. with his politics, and he's the besides the point, that he's makes a president. Him a terrorist. That has nothing to do with makes anything. Some fucking terrorist. Exactly. See, that's what it's becoming. Like it's either you're with us or you're a fucking moron. Yeah. And I'd like to see a more just open and honest way. Like Are I've they... always been able. Like I always will just if we're just talking about something, we're just talking about something. I'm yeah. not going to get angry. I'm not going to berate you i'm not going to try, try to change your mind just like i hope you're not going to try and change my mind yeah. we're just talking i've been around so many people you just bring up a subject or you try talking about something or you have a different point and they just shut down immediately I, they either won't talk to you or they just get all angry and shit yeah politics is a fiery subject and um you know i mean listen i i've I can be friends with people who share different politics. It doesn't bother me. I yeah. just, it's since I mean, we're talking about it, let's get it on the table. Do you follow a specific? I mean, if do you vote? Let's say uh, I I vote absolutely. Okay. I, I always vote for presidency and um, you know governors. Do you usually like vote for a specific side? Yes. Yes. Which side? Um. Well, I I don't love the rub. Republican, Republican Party, Scooby Doo over here. <laughs> but I do consider myself conservative. Okay. Um, I just have conservative values. Um, I I don't love the Republican Party, and I don't, you know, I just because don't, I don't like anything that's going thing, on right now. They attach uh, themselves with conservative ideology, mm-hmm. but then they just do that to further their own goals, to further yeah. their own means. It's, it's empty it's, yeah. gestures, and and they're just saying, "Oh, I believe in this," when they don't really. It's yeah. a lot of lying. However, they um, can just get the most cash. And and I'll be honest with you, I I've completely avoided watching any form of news. I uh, if something breaking happens, you know, I'll see it on YouTube. But I I can't deal with it. Watch if it's you watch depressing. a John Oliver, one of his shows. They're like free on YouTube. It's I used to watch it because I was like, all right, he's kind of he's bringing humor and he's also you know teaching people stuff. But it's just it's the same thing. It's, he's just showing you one shit. side of an argument. You know what I mean? It's like John Stewart. Fucking... And if you disagree, you're a fucking moron. You're an yeah, idiot. Yeah, John Stewart, Colbert, like Bear, Obama, man. Everyone, they always talk about yeah. how they miss him, how great he was. Like he, was he did president. some bad shit. Probably I don't want to say fucking... he was a terrible president. That's I'll let you say that if okay. that's your opinion. It is. He did fucking nothing. What okay. did he fucking do? He, um, I'll bring up the bad things since it's what I'm talking about I mean, right like, now. well, all the fucking drone strikes. Why isn't anybody talking about ten the fucking times, people he killed? Ten times more drone strikes than under George Bush. Yeah. He ramped up the illegal spying program when he found, when it, I don't want to say he did it, but when right. he became president, it got ramped up. Yeah. I mean, listen, you know, I, I, just, I, liked, I don't care about this I thing. Liked, he, only got, he only got elected because he was black. That's reality. You think so? Absolutely. He got elected because he was black. It was a time for a black president. and I think it certainly helped. I don't know if it was the sole reason. Yeah, I though. think it was. He's I a mean, very eloquent speaker. Yeah, I mean, he was better than, you know, what was it, John, John McCain, McCain and then, uh, and then Mitt, Mitt Romney. Romney. And, and listen, Mitt Romney, uh, I voted for Mitt Romney. Every time I looked at him, I was like, man, you look like a weirdo. Like, what's well, going on here? Well, not only that, he's kind of a, he's kind of a shitty businessman. He, yeah. his... His trust, whatever it's called, his corporation, they bought, if it's not Spotify, iHeartRadio, they uh, bought it and immediately it tanked. Yeah. It's filed for bankruptcy or is going to, I think. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I just don't, I just don't have much interest in politics. It's just a lot of bullshit. Yeah, I don't have much interest in it, but I just, I get so pissed off seeing all this fucking retarded shit that I see. That's why I can't. You I just can't racist, you racist rapist voted for a racist <laughs> rapist. 
Yeah. Come on, are you yeah. a fucking moron? <laughs> I, I mean, like, do I really? You're an adult. I have to tell you to have some fucking perspective it's here. It's extremes with everything. Yeah. You know, if you voted for Hillary, oh, you're a saint. If you voted for Trump, you're a fucking KKK member. And Hillary <laughs> wasn't a good candidate to begin with. She's man. a fucking crook. Very corrupt from the things criminal. I've read and heard. She's a criminal, and I fucking hate the Clintons. I just yeah. can't stand them. Can't fucking stand them. Could never vote for them. All you right, know? your favorite political movie. My favorite political movie. Ugh. I can't think. As soon as I asked that, I couldn't think I of mean, one. I mean, current, you know, Death of Stalin I enjoyed. I don't like political movies. I mean, I don't know. Man. I Cherian, got one. Cherian Candidates, okay. The well, it's kind of okay. hard to define what's a political movie. Anything there involving could be, politics. <laughs> there could be, like, political subtext and shit. You know what I mean? Shit like, I don't know. Like, uh, could you, would you say Invasion of the Body Snatchers is no. sort of a political movie? I mean, the, the first one's about, like, the Cold War, but... The, I the mean, original. the 70s one. The 70s one, I didn't know. I okay. wouldn't say that at all. You could argue almost anything when uh, interpreting. But I'm not, I'm just, I'm <laughs> posing that. We're sitting here talking about it. I'm posing the question. Yeah. I can't think, I mean, I was going to say 12 Angry Men, but... I mean, it's pretty political, movie. I guess. I don't find that political. It's just, I mean, it's... It's about the criminal justice system. Who's I the name of the Francis... Henry Neff. Ford. Henry Ford made it? Yeah. No, no, I mean, uh, Henry Ford's... Uh, no, what am I saying? Henry Fonda. Henry Fonda, yeah, as the main actor. He um, produced it. I saw this on yeah, TCM. Yeah. He produced it, but it, he, he totally got screwed because it didn't yeah. make enough money. Really? Yeah. So he never produced anything again or something. You got that criterion? No. 12 Angry Men? No. I saw it on um, TCM. It. Yeah, I've seen it. I saw it on VHS as a kid. I saw it at school, so I've seen it so many times. Have you seen the ABC remake with um, no. the black guy who was so. the radar guy in Hunt for Red October? Mm. He was also in Law and Order Criminal Intent. I that's another movie I don't like, Hunt for Red October. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess I should like it because my mom and dad went to see it when they were dating. That Ooh. movie and Driving Miss Daisy. And I've never seen <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> fucking black old black man and old white woman got your parents all hot and steaming no my that was like the first movie my, me and my, my uh me and my my mom and dad wanted to see and then my dad was like oh we ain't you ain't picking the movie anymore <laughs> did you pick me and miss daisy or your mother i wasn't born yet oh yes <laughs> that would make sense i'm getting lost in the traffic here because i am a rube as many yeah, of but, you know uh, i was looking up like what criteria? Hey, I if you get. guys want to join the conversation, tell us what movies you were conceived to. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't Did have to be directly. Did your parents go to the theater before when they were dating? Bro, I I would Never assume asked them so. What movies they saw? They saw Star Wars once. I know that. Seventy seven. Yeah. It was in Florida or something. Hmm. Fascinating story. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Who cares? They went and I, saw I a movie. I think it's interesting. What um. What's the fondest theater memory you have? The fondest theater memory. Fuck that. Let's get back to movies. We're all over the fuck. Politics, this fucking... This is... No, it's a good podcast, because the blocker sucks. Cock blockers. <laughs> call it what it is. Don't yeah. try to hide behind American censorship. I gotta, I gotta... Conservative censorship. <laughs> Which is funny. The conservatives were the ones censoring people. Now they're getting pissed off. Because yeah. the leftists have become... Have started, you know... Breaking up speeches, you know, anti-protesting -pro protests, shit like that. It's just a bunch of monkeys throwing their shit around. That's it. Uh, I guess so. That's we all, don't mean that with politics, racial tones, it's all by the way. It's we love joke. monkeys of any shape or color. <laughs> I, myself, am best friends with an orangutan named Elmore. Yeah, big every uh, which way but loose fan over here. I've actually never seen it. Yeah, was it with Clint Eastwood? Yep. There's another sequel too. There's a sequel to it. There was this dude at work telling me about the show where chimps played secret agents. Space I really, chimps? I really want to find it. Chimps played secret agents. It was a movie though. It's a movie. I remember there's this show that was briefly on TBS where they like re redid oh, movies redid scenes, but with chimps and you know <sighs> made it jokey. That sounds that sounds pretty terrible. I kind of liked it. It reminds me of uh, you remember the Geico commercials with the cavemen? They had their own show. Yeah, they had their own show. How exactly. embarrassing is I, that? They, it was like one episode and I got canceled. Yes, <laughs> I remember watching it. It was terrible. 
God awful. I think, oh God, what is his name? The guy who was on uh, The League. Did you ever see Nick that Kroll. show? Nick Kroll. Nick Kroll. He, he had his he own was, show. He was, on, uh, he was in the Geico case. He was right also there. on uh, The Life and Times of Tim. Very underrated animated series. Never saw it. It was on Isn't HBO. Isn't that the Tim and Eric's side? No. No, it's. I think it's. It's, on HBO? it's completely different. It was on HBO. Yeah, okay. Like two or three about. seasons, I think. Yeah, HBO's supposed to good shit out. It's a uh, very <sighs> sort of absurd. Like yeah. uh, the first episode, his girlfriend comes home with her parents to visit and meet Tim, who's the guy's name, as you might have guessed. No. And he has a hooker there. <laughs> uh, classic. The next one? What happens in the next? It's like each episode's a half hour, but it's two different stories. I really yeah. think it's funny. Yeah. I, I'm just... I'm just kind of giving up on animated shows. I just don't want to. Half is for Family is okay on, on Netflix, Netflix, but um, it's, it's full of emotional moments. I don't... Bill Burr's based yeah. on his like childhood. Yeah, I like Bill Burr. Like He's that. funny. Yeah, he's funny, but just... His wife's black. She's pretty hot. Yeah. I yeah. think I uh, listen to his podcast. I used to for a lot. Monday morning <clears throat> podcast, whatever. Also Thursday Monday yeah. morning pod Monday morning Thursday podcast. I believe yeah. he calls it. It's yeah, good, funny. but it's too many emotional moments. When I go to a comedy, I just want to laugh. Yeah. It feels awkward because you can see it coming. Because like, you guys are comedians, comedic right. writers. You're not. You're not great at the on the dramatic stuff. Let's yeah. say. So it all feels very that. cringy. I know there was another show on Netflix. But it's not just that show. Many shows, I feel like this. Many comedic yeah. shows. Like, you guys are getting out of your wheelhouse. Just leave it Leave it to somebody yeah. else's hands. Just, just watch Rick and Morty on repeat. <laughs> that too. They try to get too emotional <laughs> really? with that. Yeah. I haven't seen the third season yet. They, so um, there's a few suicide, suicide notes with yeah. Rick. Yeah. yeah. There's a few notes of... Holy shit! I'm not in the right dimension. My the real me is dead here. Right. By Morty. Oh yeah, the second season. Yeah. It's a good show. I like Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's some. Um, it's um, It's all right. It's yeah, good. You recommended it to me, and I, I binged the first I wouldn't. Two seasons. I wouldn't say it's like the greatest show like everybody else who watches it does. Yeah, it's, it's a cult. It's just a nice, solid movie. show. It's funny. Show, it's goofy, right? and it doesn't. Does it's not afraid to like you know? Yeah, I, shoot the neck character in the face. You yeah, know what I mean? It's definitely crazy, and that's you know Dan Harmon's just bizarre mind. Did you ever watch Community? Yeah, I did. I've seen a couple I've episodes. A episodes. It didn't really. I think it's it's pretty funny. And some, there was yeah. one episode that's like a zombie episode. It was a Halloween special. It was really funny. I think I saw it where they yeah. had Chevy Chase's <laughs> mansion or something. <laughs> they're 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 like stuck in this like. Like cafeteria thing. Oh, okay. And, like, is well, I saw another one where they were stuck at Chevy Chase's mansion. Yeah, they're, like, they're all getting like rabies and just going rabid. And it's, uh, it's did funny. they rip that off from Sonny, or did Sonny rip that off from them? The Ponderosa I've... wedding massacre. Oh, uh, yeah, I think. <clears throat> they, I think they probably came out around the same time. I remember. The Weird Ponderosa. man. Yeah. Yeah, Very I'm strange. so pissed. Fucking Sonny's on Hulu. Yeah. I did hear that. Uh, uh, what's his face? Is gonna he is gonna come back for a few episodes, Dennis? Uh, yeah, Dennis is gonna come back for a few episodes. He's not gonna be on the whole season, but he'll be yeah, on a few sucks. episodes. He um, I think the show's kind of worn out its welcome. It yeah, ended a few years ago. Well, th yeah, definitely. But there's always an episode or two each season where, where I can the genius. Yeah, where yeah. it's still pretty. F except for I rewatched it not too long ago. The entire series, wow. I was bored. I had nothing to watch. Oh, shit. Either the sixth or the seventh season, you can easily tell that they stopped writing or stopped inputting anything because it became awful for a season or two. Yeah. Like, brutally bad. Not one episode is good, you know? Really? Wow. Yeah, there's there's a lot of episodes that are just fantastic of that show. The, the early seasons of that show are pretty much untouchable. What's your favorite uh, Sunny episode? <sighs> Man, that's tough. That's tough because I've I, I want to rewatch them, but I just there's so much stuff I I need to watch. It's only but. 20 minutes. That's what I like about them. Oh, you, you can, can watch oh, three a whole and that's season. an hour. Yeah, mm -hmm. a whole season in, in just no time. Um, the Nightman Cometh is. is like, <laughs> it was classic. I saw it at my at college Day in man. my dorm room. It blew my socks off. Master of the Night, Fighter of the Nightman. Sorry, excuse me. Forgive me. <laughs> Defender. Or of the freedom of the light or something. You're a master of karate and friendship for, for everyone. everyone. 
day, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. I liked Frank. You gotta pay the toll to get in this boy's hole. <laughs> soul, soul. <laughs> I would say, um... Danny DeVito is so incredible on that show. That show wouldn't have lasted three seasons without Danny DeVito. Nah. I mean, it was good. The first season was good, but he definitely adds a when huge, he shows up, huge, man. huge oh my uh, God. compliment to them. I my felt, favorite episode, maybe, I can't really think of any, so I'll just say no, the Revolutionary no. War one, maybe. Oh. Just, he's got the wooden teeth. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Dennis. <laughs> God damn it. The, le- the first Lethal Weapon up one is really funny, too. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name <laughs> of Frank? <laughs> the Indian in it. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> It's funny. On the DVD, they have like an extended, that's like 20 extra minutes. Seriously? I yeah. have like the first five seasons on DVD. Yeah. I think it's probably in the six or seven. Yeah, there's, like a, there's like a director's cut of each Lethal Weapon. The, the, the next Lethal Weapon one they did was not funny. The first one was just perfect. I just watched where, the like, second one. Or Mac wears the black face. And, then, he's like, and, then, they and then they switch. It's just perfect. And the genius. second one, he's wearing the black face and he's in the rain. Yeah. And that was one scene. <laughs> Yeah, there is an episode that I always bring up that was recent where they're trying to get Frank's blood. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. And Charlie keeps stabbing him and he fills the bag with blood. And he's like, you, you filled the bag with blood? And it's then he fills a bucket. And a box. He puts, he puts, put the blood in the box. <laughs> Charlie is my favorite. Frank Charlie. is really good, but Charlie is easily my favorite. Yeah, Charlie is so weird. Amazing, it's like, great. Killing rats and the fucking... <laughs> Denim <laughs> chicken. <laughs> A la a lau? A li lau? The toe, Lowie? The toe knife. <laughs> just every fucking scene when they're in Charlie's apartment, <laughs> just sleeping together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the poop the bed episode was funny. <laughs> Who pooped the bed is the name of the episode. That was like a detective episode, episode yeah. <laughs> I love Artemis is really funny, too. Yeah. That's her real name. I don't know her yeah. last name, though. I do love a lot of the episodes with Cricket, just the slow to gradual de- Decay. Yeah, yeah. Decay of it's like the body. uh it's I would like I was gonna say it's like the reverse there will be blood, but he also morally becomes bad and I was gonna say it's like the reverse because he becomes good yeah. morally, but he becomes bad as it's well. So fucking funny. And they each season they add more prosthetics to right, the, what dog am I sucking off? <laughs> That's probably not something he said, but it's something it's similar. Close. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. All right, how many dogs are going to fuck this hole tonight? <laughs> they should have um, had more swear words censored them and then uncensored them on the... Yeah. Whatever, but whatever. I also like the uh, Wild Card Bitches episode. The Wild original. They, um, they destroy that one guy's car. Yeah. Fuck. The Char- SUV? You're no, about that? that was another. Episode they had. I, I think it was the first SUV time anymore. they were going to collect trash or something, maybe. Oh, yeah. In the second episode, where they basically, it's called the gang recycles their trash. They, oh, um, yeah. they go around to collect trash. Shit, I can't remember the name of the episode, but whatever. At the end, Charlie, they. Uh, Oh, yeah, they're buying gas to sell door oh, to door. Oh, they're filling, yeah, the big gallon things. And they, have, the bar. they yeah, create this funny. whole role for themselves. And <laughs> they're like, Charlie, you're the wild card. You know, you just sort of. Sometimes things work out with you. That's sometimes a they don't. Theme of them saying which one's the wild card. Yeah, yeah. That that was a good episode. I remember that one where he's spending all that how come, money. How come the brakes aren't working? Well, it's easy fix. I cut the brakes. Wild card, bitches! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that was a good episode. <laughs> yeah, Charlie's amazing. He's Although, amazing. what have, what films has he been in? He was in Pacific Rim. He was also in Horrible Bosses in Horrible yes. Bosses too. I liked the first Horrible Bosses. I watched it. I don't remember it. And the second one was unwatchably bad. It's fucking Donald horrific. Sutherland was in it. Yeah. Really? Uh, or he was in one it. of them. I don't I know. Remember. I didn't see fucking him. Awful. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, there's uh, the half-off Criterion sale in July. Oh, yeah? It's July and then November, I guess. They have two sales a year. Once in November. Well, here's the thing. You can get them pretty much for 20 or 30 bucks on... I can't plug I anybody. Want, I Shit. Don't, I, don't, I don't want to pay 30 bucks for a criterion. It's a river. It's a, a river in South America, but it also is a website name. Really? I was just on there looking at all the ones that I wanted to buy. Well, how much all, are they on there? They're all like 20, 
five twenty seven ninety. Well, at the oh, other man, store, much. at the other store, to begin with, they're forty and fifty bucks. Yeah. So I mean, you, you said you got Blood Simple in November, right? You got yeah. it for twenty bucks. It was. Yeah, but I also that like was um, half off during the sale. Yeah, because it was forty bucks. Yeah, I noticed on their website. It says, oh yeah, MSRP 40 bucks, but then they say, oh, our website price, and it's like 31 It's like, fuck off. No, the movie's yeah. 30 bucks. It's not 40 fucking dollars. I assholes. think they overcharge for they them do, anyways. Yeah. Like, well, screen? it's because they can, because like they're this the only place rough. you can get a great transfer. Yeah. It's like what, I bought this American copy of Ghosts in the Shell on Blu-ray, the anime. Yeah. And they put, the American, the English dub is in 5.1. The Japanese is in 2.1. Do you know why they did that? So, so that Japanese people, one. so Japanese people couldn't just buy the American one for cheaper. Oh. They'd have to buy the premium Japanese one. Really? Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, I um, yeah, I mean, Scream Factor. They're they're a case of where they're reasonable. How much are they? Uh, usually they're like, if you get it through Best Buy, like 15 bucks or like 17.99. That's totally fine with me. Like if if 20 bucks. For a movie I really like, I don't have a problem with. Yeah. I let you know, fifteen. I'm really comfortable. I usually like to get. Honestly, a movie for... I think to rent a movie, it should be a dollar or two to um, own a movie. It should be like ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks is like the perfect price. Nine ninety nine. Like, Seeing a movie, going to the movie should be nine, ten bucks, maybe. Yeah, like five bucks for a matinee, ten bucks for later. That's yeah. the way I feel. But um. We yeah. don't decide those things. We no. are not the oligarchs of the left and the right. We are not your gods. Yeah. We are men, free men, um, except for the guy next to me who's a conservative nut job. Conservative nut job. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how many movies did you give on the sale? The Criterion. I just got one. You just got both. Simple? I was. Um, I've heard the, my, the transfer I was, really good. Yeah, it looked great. It looked incredible. I, I looked Joel and Ethan Cohen and Barry Sonnenfeld who shot it. Yeah. They all supervised the transfer. It looks re- it looks like a um when was it made? The early eighties, right? Eighty four. It looks like a mid nineties movies movie at least. They did a 4K, you know what I mean? They did a four K transfer of it. Blood Simple's a very good film. I really yeah, liked it. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, I really want it. That's the one I really want to get. I wanna get uh I wanna get um The one about the bunnies? The cartoon bunnies. What the hell oh. is the name of it? Shit. Watership Down. Watership Down, no. I own it. Um, I want to get... Feet. And if that Asian girl or the Indian girl want to watch it, you can come over anytime. I promise. Watch Watership Down. We'll watch a movie about bunnies. Yeah. And then see what pops up in conversation. Yeah, Topical different. conversation. Something definitely pop up. Bunny time at Rudy Ranch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I want to get Thief. For sure. I saw it. I was. It was too much. For, it was too over the top for me. Over the top. Scarface. Like, over Scarface was over the top. Thief was like a goddamn what? drag show. Oh, my you know God. You know what I mean? Man. Well, you, you, are, you did give Heat a 7 out of 10, so. Heat isn't that over the top. No, I'm saying you gave. You're not a Michael Mann fan, obviously. No, I like Michael Mann just fine. God, I just. I give that a 7 out of 10. Dude. What else? Uh, uh, give me something on Smith. Thief, I thought it was okay, but it was too much. Oh, we just have, you guys want a baby? You can't have one? Here, I got a baby right here. You can have him. Come on. I don't know, dude. I don't think well, how about we just take that kid back? Then you're going to do the job? Mr. Heist, Mr. Cra- Safe Cracker? Yeah. It was too much for me. I could, I, I appreciate, you know, the shots, the writing and all Danger that, but it was just, it was too much for me. Hate mm. nice hater. What else <laughs> uh, has Michael Mann done? Collateral, which is really good. Um, Collateral was that Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. I movie. saw it a while ago. It was, I don't remember too much really about good. it. Um, uh, the Insider, which is really didn't good. see it. Yeah, it's about the. Did he do that one? Industry. Public Enemies. Yeah, I have that movie. Got it real cheap at Best Buy. Wasn't it I think really it's bad? No, uh, okay, I, I think it's okay. It's not as Johnny Depp accurate. too much. No, he was. That's probably the most subdued I've seen him in forever. Like. I mean, he's done some good stuff, Johnny Depp. I'm not a fan of Johnny Depp. I'm not a fan of him either, but he does, he is he Lowell. has the ability to make Lowell's good. great. I love uh, Donnie Brasco. It's fucking amazing. Eh, it's um, it's okay. 
Which cut did you see? He does good in it. Don't get me wrong. I've seen both cuts. Okay. He does well in it, but it's just... It's a great movie. I don't know. I like, gold, I like Goodfellas. Every time I watch him, I'm like, I'd rather be watching Goodfellas or I'd Casino, maybe. Casino. Always over Goodfellas. Yeah. Always. I don't know. Goodfellas, there's something about it I always Goodfellas come back to. Goodfellas is amazing. It's I connect, you, I connect I a lot more with uh, Henry Hill than I do with... Fuck. The uh, casino. The guy who runs casino. I can't remember his last name. It was something Jewish. Yeah. Something Rothstein? Yeah, something yeah. Rothstein. Yeah. Sam Rothstein. Yeah. But anyways... Yeah. What yeah. other Michael Mann stuff? I... As... Did Manhunter, which was awesome. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, it was okay. Two eighties. Yeah, well, I liked. Why uh, hated heat. <laughs> I liked him better than Ray Ray Fines. Is it Ralph Red or Dragon? Ray? I liked. Uh, I liked Red Dragon. Don't get me wrong, but I, I liked Red the Dragon. other. I liked the other killer better. Oh yeah, the guy. Uh, I did not like the other or... Hannibal Lecter better. The other Hannibal Lecter was. Um, um, I know his name. He was Striker in X Men. Yes, it's like it's, I feel like it starts. He from would a B. be an awesome, you know, uh, if they didn't pick as the guy in dodgeball in the wheelchair with those wrench. God, what was his name? Nah, I can't remember. Are you sure it was the guy in wheelchair? I think that's a different guy. Oh, the guy in dodgeball. Guy I'm pretty sure it's. Oh a different no, no, guy. yeah, he might be right. Hold on a second. Let me look. It Tom. Um, what more were we just talking about with him? Uh, we were talking about Manhunter. And the oh yeah, dragon. he played Hannibal Lecter. Red Dragon, I liked. I liked the atmosphere a lot. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was get, very. Got to get the atmosphere. No, it was it very is, dark. I love Edward. Morgan the cinematography was very dark. The sort of dialogue was everything was dark. You know, yeah. we're talking about serial killers. Let's talk about yeah, serial that's a killers. Great movie. We're talking about AIDS. Let's. We're talking about lesions. Let's talk it's, about AIDS or whatever he says. That's what it made me think of when I just said we're talking about um, we're talking about serial killers. So let's talk about eating people. Mm. Red Dragon, I definitely like better than Manhunter, but yeah, so do I. But... I like the piece, some of the pieces in Manhunter better. Do you like Ed Norton better than um, William, William Peterson? Peterson? Yeah, okay. I liked William Peterson in The Beast. It's a movie about a giant squid that attacks a Pacific Northwestern town. Not great. It had Dr. Giggles in it. Dr. Giggles. He played a uh, fisherman. An evil fisherman. You just got a shitty ass phone, man. What can I say? Yeah, Samsung. Don't buy Samsung. It's, um... The guy who you were saying, who was the wheelchair guy in Dodgeball, was the guy in, um... Men in Black. He got arrested for, like, getting drunk and breaking into a bank. Nah. It was something oh, yeah. Rip Torn. Rip Torn. In a movie, he fucking who, attacked yeah, a director. Yeah. He attacked a director with a hammer, and they kept it in the movie. Really? For real. What movie was that? I don't know. Some 70s indie movie, probably. Yeah. He's supposedly nuts. What movie? Manhunter. Manhunter. Striker. He was an X-Men. What, yeah. um... Since we're almost out of time, why don't you give us your... Since you hate all comedies that are, you know, silly and funny... Give us a nice, good comedy you enjoy. Uh, comedies? Oh, man. I feel like we've done this one to death. Well, um, yeah, but, you know, I'm trying to get your... Pers you don't like any of the ones I enjoy, man. Like, what's the what's the deal? Do you just hate humor? I'm trying to think Are of... Are you a sip of... I think, I think comedy in general is just... It's a whatever genre. Yeah. I just, I just don't think really anything. Like, I don't own, uh, like, any comedies on Blu-ray. I don't own at many all. at all because I have high standards for them. <laughs> you have high standards. And you can't really find, like, the silly, you know, just whatever, $5 goofy ones. Like, there was this two-pack for a while at the store. I would always go and check and I'd see it there. It was um, Funny Farm and Spies Like Us. Mm. It was 5 or 10 bucks. I wish I bought it. I just feel like every time you rewatch a comedy, it gets worse in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I could see that. Um. Yeah. What, since, since you're again, since you're putting the kibosh on my, uh. Yeah, I don't want to talk about comedies. Let's go with, uh. Have you bought any movies recently? No, I haven't bought anything. You haven't bought anything? Well, I, I just bought a movie and it just came in the mail today. I'm going to talk about it. It's a Kevin Bacon movie. It's called Stir of Echoes. 
It's extremely underrated. I uh, extremely saw it on TV underrated. a long time ago. I don't remember it, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's a horror movie, kind of a psychological. There's like a dead kid in his apartment yeah. or something. It's uh, really, really good, really underrated. Um, it's one of those kind of lost Who was the girl movies. in it? Who was his wife? I think it was like Rodna Michelle or something, Mitchell or something. Maybe. I don't remember. Brian Cox. Brian Cox. I knew it started with a B. Tom Noonan was the Red Dragon. Yeah, he was in uh, Heat. He's been. He was. He was like what um, Michael Shannon was. Just you know. I don't think he's as good. He was like what he was. Just yeah. you know, the mechanic, yeah. the guy yeah. who's got the info about that. You yeah, know what I mean? mannerisms. I guess I could say. No, I'm saying he wasn't the star of the movie. Any movies he was in, he was a piece of them. Yeah. I, I I just feel like he's been mostly in TV for the most part. I just saw him in, uh, well, I shouldn't say I just saw him, but he was in uh, Hell on Wheels, which was a fucking terrible show on AMC. I have uh, had it recommended to me. I never watched it's it. It's fucking though. awful, boy. I don't ever watch it. I saw Common was in it. I'm yeah. not really a fan of his. He's good smoking aces. Yeah. And, you know, he, he, he was competent in John Wick, too. I don't remember to make a, an accurate judgment about it. He's a uh, he's whatever actor. Yeah. Your um, action recommendation for the night. Action recommendation for the night. Trying to think if he should go with something classic. Licking his lips, getting excited yeah. over here. Getting excited. Lubing up. Shit. All right. Yeah, I got I got the movie. I'm gonna go with the uh, the unequivocal masterpiece. That is John Woo's Hard Target. <laughs> I uh, had never seen it. I've a seen movie parts of it. Where John Woo wanted Kurt Russell to star in, so John Claude Van Damme has a mullet. <laughs> and That's it pretty is, good. It is a fucking incredible action movie. <clears throat> like all of the things that he was working out and wanted to do with Face Off and and kind of Broken Arrow and, and his later American films he was working through in this movie and there's just awesome set pieces it's the best Jean-Claude Van Damme's ever been he I really like the him. movie I really like the movie uh, where he's in a hockey arena and then he gets death, to play goalie awesome fucking Powers Booth movie. plays the bad guy yes a total diehard in a rock, uh, hockey stadium rip off and it's fucking awesome a penguin suit dude with the fucking silencer um <laughs> But uh, both of those are on Blu-ray, and I was jumping for fucking joy when they got released. Uh, but I'm Hard sure Target, you were. Hard Target is fucking incredible. Um, just it's it's a most dangerous game, kind of where these just homeless people are given this money belt, and these rich people go and hunt them. And fucking pretty neat. Yeah, it's a great concept. Just the action in it is is so fucking incredible. I, massive recommendation. It's it's insane. Lance Henriksen is the fucking villain, and he's chewing everything. I like. Fucking, I really like Lance Henriksen. Oh, he's, he's just so great. good as the villain in the movie. <laughs> Amazingly just shot, and you know, yeah, sure, it's got its crazy moments, but man, it's awesome. Love hard Target. Since since you brought it up, I'm gonna say. Since you brought him up, I'm going to say John Woo's The Killer, starring Chow Yun Fet. Still haven't gotten a good Blu ray transfer. Yeah, I own one. 1080i. It. I own one. That's what it is. Dude. Eh, it doesn't look great, I guess. I don't remember yeah. thinking too much about how it looked. Great movie, though. Yeah. yeah, very over the top action scenes. Very. The doves. <laughs> there's a lot of way too sentimental moments, but it works. It does, it's not too crazy with them. Yeah. <laughs> Chow Yun Fett is prime. He's a really great actor. I wish that they oh, gave him some good roles over here, man. Yeah, he got fucking jack shit here in America. I'll tell you, um, I'll skip you next pick. We'll forego it for now, because I have my next one. The ultimate adventure in action film. Chow Yun-Fet and Ang Lee's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Oh, boy. Well, it's just, it's got everything. It's one of those movies, I, it's I like, it reminds me of it. a perfect know. Spielberg movie, where it has... Everything, you know what I mean? There's sort of this sort of action. There's this adventure. There's this. There's stakes. There's this love story. You know, it has everything. Runs the gamut. Yeah, um, it's the hype for that movie when it came out was insane. Like, yeah, it was. was it was all movie. over the place here. Yeah, I saw it at a budget theater with my dad, and 
just did not work for me at all. I haven't watched it since. Yeah? I watched it once. That's it. Well, when did you see it? When it came out? When it right came out at a budget Watch theater. it. Watch it again. It's a really... It's yeah. a really moving story. It's oh very... Boy. It's moving, huh? It's very epic. <laughs> well, do you remember anything that happens? I remember about the, the, the love story we were talking about and kind of... The love stories. Yes. Plural. Yes. And I remember the jumping on the trees. I love the ending kind of where it was very... Um, I don't remember the ending at all. The ending is... Um, I don't remember anything about it. It's... Uh, you know, it's what do they say when you know the inception ending or the top? You don't know if it stops spinning right. or not. What do they call that? Open ended, ambiguous, ambiguous. It's yeah. very ambiguous, and I like that too because it's like yeah. if this story meant this to you, then all right, it means that. If it means this to you, then all right, this happened. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I uh, I know we were talking about John Woo, but I'm I'm really not a big fan of Chinese cinema for the most part. I like I really love Korean yeah. cinema and Japanese cinema, but there's something about Chinese movies that um, sort of cheap, maybe. Yeah, and the dialogue is always way too fast. It's like yeah, sporadic, well, like insane. you know, it's there. It's a whole different culture. They Absolutely. talk a whole it's different way. You speak, know, but I watched um, uh, it was a movie I got recommended. It was Wolf Warrior Two. Uh, mm -hmm. It just came out, and it was just like every Chinese movie that comes out now is just like CGI, like. Like, the shittiest CGI from, like, a YouTube video. <laughs> the wall. The Great Wall, or whatever it was called. Matt Damon fights the lizard people, which is an absolute blast. I didn't see it. Oh, man. I had the time of my life at a budget <laughs> theater seeing that movie. Matt Damon fights the lizard people. Matt Damon versus the lizards. I'm it's gonna fight just the, lizards. the stupidest fucking movie. It's got Willem Dafoe in it. <laughs> Seriously? Yes! And Pedro Pascal. And, see, I don't uh, know who that is. Yeah, he was in the uh, Kingsman sequel. He's also on Narcos on Netflix. I never saw the Kingsman sequel. He's on the uh, third season of Game of Thrones. He played a major character. Um, he, yeah. He's a good actor. I like him. He's, uh, he's obviously of Spanish descent, if you didn't get that. <laughs> I thought he was Korean. <laughs> I thought he was Chinese. Wasn't that a Chinese movie? Uh, no, nah, there's, no, there's no Chinese in that movie. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, th there's obviously a lot, but... Um, it's, uh, it's that movie. Just... I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> As if a fucking a blind person, the one blind person's like, oh, they really didn't have any Chinese people in that movie? That movie was fucking racist. <laughs> There's sort of like, even the Jackie Chan ones that everyone recommends from his younger days. Oh, so, so far, Rumble like. Rumble in the Bronx. I like Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, it's sure. pretty good. That. Tuxedo. I mean, <laughs> I mean earlier. Like. The Drunken Master so far is oh, the only yeah, one that I've seen oh, as good. Yeah, or at least watchable. Police story? You don't like any of the Police Story movies? I don't remember seeing them. Yeah, I the think police it, story is fucking good. Were they on Netflix? No, they're not on Netflix. Were they? Might have been, I don't know. Yeah, what, no, no yeah, matter. Police Story 2, especially Super Is that Cop. your second recommendation? Police Story 2, the no, Super Cop? No, that's not my recommendation. Um, my next recommendation... Uh, not necessarily an action movie. has action movie elements. No. Uh, I'm going to recommend a Korean movie, which is fucking incredible. It's called I Saw the Devil. It's directed I still by Ji Won Kim. Serial killer movie. Uh, just the main guy hunting him fucking down. Just brutal violence. You Are you secretly a sociopath? You secretly love movies where people get hunt down for sport. I love, I love fucking like hunting down people. I'm Have you really ever seen that those. one with Ice Cube? Ice Cube hunting down people. No, he wasn't hunting down people. He was He's being getting hunted. hunted? Nah, not Ice Cube. Not Ice Cube. Ice tea? Ice tea. Ice tea. Uh, I don't know. John I, Leguizamo I, was in it. I John saw it Leguizamo. once at like 12 at night on TNT when I was a boy. I have to watch that. <laughs> don't think it was good if I've never seen or heard of it since. Yeah, I'm, I'm into those movies that are most dangerous game kind of movies where just people are hunting each other. I think it could be very swim. interesting, but every time I instance where I've seen it implemented, it's... Usually shitty. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, I've always liked that idea. Yeah, I saw The Devil is, is fucking amazing. It's a long movie. Uh, it's like two, two hours, like 25 minutes. And they but, do... They do have Koreans in it, right? Yes, there are, in fact, Koreans in it. Uh, Byung, uh, Byung Hung Lee is the lead actor. He's really amazing. I got one uh, more. When we're done talking and, about I uh, Saw the Devil. Yeah, it's just... I love Ji Won Kim. He's such an unbelievable director. 
Oh, you did the good, the bad, and the weird. Um, I saw that. It was good. I, I liked that it. Movie. That's really cool. Uh, he just did a movie recently, Age of Shadows. Um, uh, he also did a Bittersweet Life and um, a weird, really fucked up horror movie called The Tale of Two Sisters. I always um, saw it on Netflix, but I never had the heart to watch it. Yeah, it's really fucked up. Uh, yeah, he's an he's an awesome director. I think he's like one of the best directors alive right now. High praises for yes. some young guy. <laughs> some 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 young guy. Some young Cream guy. Some Say his name again, so I don't Ji-woon seem like Kim. a total asshole. Ji Woon Kim. Ji Woon Kim. Kim. Yeah. My next choice is another Korean film. Oh boy. It's called. It's about incest. It's about revenge. Handmaid? Old boy. Oh, old boy. It uh, has an American remake by Spike Lee, which oh, means God. I didn't see it. Yeah, I saw that. The Korean version, very brutal, very, very twisted. I really liked it. It's very dark, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In it, a man is... um. He goes out okay. drinking one night, and then he's kidnapped, and then he's in prison for seven years. And then he just gets let go in the middle of Seoul or something. Yeah. He has to figure out what's going on, what happened. Yeah, it's like based on manga. I so much that. stuff is based on... We were talking about something else, and you're like, it's based on a comic. What do you think of The Crow? I don't like it. All right. I'd be that guy. I just... That mm-hmm. movie has never worked for me. I always revisit it every now and again, and I'm just like, man, I don't get it. I don't think it's great, it's but I definitely, I definitely like it better than say Marvel stuff. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's a good movie. I think it works. Yeah, it's not a bad. It movie. also oh, adds weight in the back of your mind, knowing that you know what you get to see Randomly where this guy gets death. killed. Yeah. Unbelievable! Just, I can't believe they kept it in though. That's unbelievable. That's nuts. Wow. But uh, the scene in the beginning. Maybe not in the beginning, one of the flashbacks where you see the long haired blonde guy shoot towards Brendan Lee, the crow. That's where that's the killed. shot where he actually gets killed. Yeah, they, they just didn't properly clean the weapons and There was a uh, round or a piece of a blank yeah. at the end of the chamber. Yeah. They just never cleaned the guns properly and Yeah, he just got fucking killed. I like the characters on it. I like the uh, score too. It's an interesting story. It's it's well made. I just it never really worked for me. Yeah. I'm interested in the remake that they're gonna do. Oh. Um, Corn Hardy's gonna be directing it. I like him. He, he did a movie called The Hollow. It might still be on Netflix. I saw it. Is it about weird little creatures in like the the forest? in Ireland or Scotland? Something like that. It's little kind of pixie fairies. fairies. Yes, I saw it. I was into it. It was weird. I don't remember much about it. It there was there's a, a string facts, there's a string cool. of English and Irish horror movies on there. Yeah, and they all bleed together for me. Like a dark yeah. song was one of them. Yeah, I still haven't seen that. It's in the queue. I don't remember it, so I I'm um, not betting it's too great. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's the, that's the one where she, this woman and a a nerd, a fat nerd, lock themselves in her house in order to do this ritual to talk to. Her son or her husband, I don't remember. I'll get around to it eventually. You know what's good? Last Shift. It's yeah, that's another one I just haven't got around to. Last Shift. What was the other one I was telling you about? The Void. The Void's like not the void. bad. You didn't like it? No, the acting is so fucking terrible. Yeah, the acting The acting is terrible. I just like everything. are great. Yeah, that's what I mean. That doesn't I like the movie. story, too. Man, it's kind of got that Khufu Hellraiser vibe to it. I really, I want to, I really want to make movies bad. I'm opening up to you as a fan base. I don't know. I just would really like to make a horror movie and explore these thoughts I have about the sort of, I like, I really, because that's really, ghosts and that are actually frightening to me. The sort of Cthulhu alternate dimension sort of stuff. You know what I mean? Because what's more horrifying than right next to me right now all that separates me from like a giant fucking indescribable monster is a goddamn invisible field that science can't even describe you know what I mean god I'm fucking I I get in some weird talks you know what I mean yeah um yeah I uh actually Scream Factor they're gonna be putting out in the Mouth Mouth of of Madness Madness is good 
they're going to be putting it out. They're doing it's a new it's really confusing if you think you're going in seeing just a straight horror movie. It's no, it's, it's much more literal than yeah, that. It's really weird. It almost feels like it's a. Who was the bad guy? Was it Jurgen Pronkow? Pronchow? Pronkow? Oh, I have no idea. It almost feels like the main like it's like speaking about like Stephen King almost with Solomon Kane kind of a thing. Yeah. It's based on a um, really good atmosphere. It's, that movie. <laughs> it's it's based on a I guess it's based on in the mouth mountain of madness or something. Yeah, which Guillermo del Toro was trying to make. Who? What's Robert Chambers or H. P. Lovecraft? One of them made it. Yeah, H. P. Lovecraft is like known for. I haven't seen like. There's a lot of stuff. That's... Well, there's a lot of stuff, but a lot of it's shit. Yeah. Because when the, you're talking the, about the... like. You need, like, a giant budget and CGI yeah, for that. Yeah, you're talking about, like, a fucking a monster of Earth-destroying proportions. Like, yeah, yeah it's going to be really hard to afford to do that <laughs> yeah. in any sort of yeah. compelling way, any sort of authentic kind of way. It's always been low way. budget every time you see a movie, too. Reanimator's good. From Beyond is good. And he also did another movie I can't remember. That was... Toby. Your name is Toby. <laughs> Can't. Or wait, was that Robert Gordon? Stuart Gordon? Stuart Gordon, pardon Stuart me. Gordon did uh, Reanimator, I think. Never mind. Who did I just say? Uh, Toby Hooper. What did he do? He did Poltergeist, Texas, Texas, Texas Chainsaw. Massacre. Yeah. I like Invasion Texas Chainsaw a lot. Yeah, it's good. I just, that's one movie where I just, like, ugh. It's makes you because that's the point. It's, it's, it's a, that's what it's trying I to know. do. I know. I can't. I can't stomach it. I do like the remake. I think the remake's pretty good. It's I don't fun. think I've seen it. Really, with Jessica Biel? Nah. Yeah, it's brutal. Fucking brutal. It's it's, it's decent though. I think. It's I good. just I had get it from I, wicked cheap. I had such high respect. A friend of mine has it. I might borrow it from them. Yeah, I, I'd watch it. It's it's decent. I just have such. I love the first one so much because it's so. It goes for something and it does it so effectively you, uh, for so cheap. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, nothing. It's just so fucking disturbing and gross, and I don't. I really don't like movies that, you know, I mean, we've talked, I've talked about before on the podcast about just like filth, yeah. just like every, like the, the didn't you say like bug not shit. too long ago in that bit, I've never seen it, but isn't that pretty much bugs it, idea? Bug is about just like meth heads. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Paranoia. But, but I mean, it's not a movie that I really want to rewatch. It's okay. good. It's really well made, but. Um, Seven. Seven is yeah, you got me on that one. You're I've never felt I've world. never felt that way because it's I don't know. It all just feels like a police procedural to me. I've seen it way too many episodes procedural. of Homicide, Law and Order. Yeah, the original Law and CSI. Order. Yeah. It's way better than those though. Yeah, obviously, that was one he was real. That's he that movie's when the guy's on the fucking bed and he's like he they think he's dead and they fucking go right up to him. <laughs> oh, the old guy. Well, I don't know. He wasn't old, but the heavily infirmed man. Oh, yeah. Check yeah. out Seven if you've never seen it. Yeah. Check out any of Fincher's early movies, even Alien Cubed. Oh, fucking Alien 3. Oh, Atmosphere. <laughs> I, I do not like that movie, and I'm not going to try anymore. I'm never watching it again. Seeing the theatrical thought, seeing the I got a, cut, I got all I four of them with, all, with alternate cuts for like... 15 bucks yeah, maybe. honestly, I've never seen the director's cut of Alien and I have it. I have the... I have it too. I haven't watched it. It's shorter. It. It's supposed Isn't to be it? shorter. Oh. Yeah. That's I, what I've heard. I will say, I, I think the, it. the director's cut of Aliens is way better than the original cut. What's mm -hmm. the differences again? It's way longer. There's more scenes at the beginning when uh, Ripley's like in... Um, like at uh, yeah. Wayland and she's like you know at the board meetings and stuff like and that and they're interrogating her there's more world building kind of, of yeah. seeing stuff I don't know if I've seen not the director's cut now that you really? say that huh because I don't recall seeing one without it yeah the uh, the, the regular blu-ray version of it they should have both cuts I'm gonna check you know. it out yeah the, the fuck the director's cut the f an well, extra half an hour long it's like yeah. 35 minutes longer do you like the first one or the second one better We've gone over this, I'm pretty sure. 100% of the first movie. All right. I like the first one better, too. Yeah, I think Alien is just perfect. And I honestly, the more and more I think about it, I wish I never made any sequels. I just wish it was just, that's it. Yeah. I wish there was never anything else made. Did you like um, Prometheus? 
the sort of worm is turning on Prometheus. I, people after Covenant came out, people were like, all right, maybe this Prometheus wasn't as bad as I'll I be thought honest, it was. Like, when I saw it in the theater, I was really hyped, and I enjoyed the movie because you know you did see new things. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of stupid shit in there, obviously, but all in all, I did enjoy it. And compared to fucking Alien Covenant, it's a masterpiece. Yeah. Alien Covenant is just the, one of the worst movies I've seen in my life, as far as just it looked there was a couple moments where it looked fucking awesome though yeah i mean listen at the end no, when no she's in the bay at shots. the end when she's in the bay and like her face is lit up in her helmet i was dope oh yeah i mean listen uh, that movie is it's just so fucking it's just out there it's like nah. what is this fucking movie this isn't an alien movie it's and it's very illogical as well it's fucking 80 year old man things. coming out of the closet from michael fassbender the fucking flute scene. Very, uh, very oh. odd sexual tone it's, there. It's so homoerotic, the movie. It's just constant homoeroticism and just. But what did you think? Do you like Prometheus though? I mean, is it? I would it's definitely better than Prometheus. Covenant. Okay. Yeah. I went into it. I just rented it. I was watching my brother's dogs or something, and I just yeah. got it on demand or something. I had no expectations. I thought it may be a cool, scary movie. It was. All right, it's okay. The alien abortion scene is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. It's just well shot. I hated the ending. All right, yeah. now that something is going to actually... We're going to kick it into gear. All right. And the movie's over. It's over. And they didn't address it at all in Covenant. Like, no. just completely they bypassed just completely it. They kill off Romy Rapaz's character. No me. Yeah. No me Rapaz. Uh-oh, hail is coming uh, for me. And, uh, what's his fucking face? Fastbender invented the alien. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, it was pretty fuck lame. Fuck off. And that fucking just kung fu battle with himself at the end, like it's the one with Jet Li. Get the fuck out of here. This is terrible. This yes. is honestly, it, it, like, it amazes me that people say that's a good movie. You're a fucking idiot. You well, people, when movie? it first comes out, like, I don't know if they just... God, we're sounding like fucking pretentious douchebags again. I don't know, like, there's a lot of times when a movie comes out and I see, like, on social media or hear people saying, like, oh my god, it was so dope. And then, like, two weeks later, after the consensus is formed, no, that it, good. it sucked or it was bad. Yeah. Then they're just right on board. I don't know, maybe they... There's, like, so many people who are, like, like defend that movie, but I feel like... I feel yeah, like when it first came out, I, saw, I just saw Alien Covenant. It kicked so much ass. It's garbage. That, that fucking, like, who cut that bitch's hair? They should be shot. They should be fucking killed. It was a bad move. It was a bad move. This is like the worst. I mean, I don't, I'm not a fan of her at all, but I thought she did okay. But her hair was oh my was God. really a bad. She was move. the the naked chick in uh, Inherent Vice. Man, that Joaquin was fucking. I saw it once in a um, romantic comedy, American Beauty. Oh yeah, that joke. That was a good what joke. What else did he say? What did he say back, or she say back? <laughs> Something rose petals. Yeah, I just saw a romantic comedy, American Beauty. They put all the rose petals. <laughs> Wasn't that funny or something? I don't remember. Yeah. I love American Beauty. Really? I think it's very surreal. You don't like it? Not a fan of it. I own the Blu-ray. I haven't opened it yet, though. I love his second movie, Road to Perdition. Fucking I haven't incredible. seen it. Tom Hanks and uh, Little Boy. Yeah, just Paul Newman. I thought that class. was a Ron Howard or Steven Spielberg movie. Oh. Just from the previews, the way it Man, looked. That is such a good movie. I own that on Blu-ray. It's so fucking good. I'm going to check it out sometime. Definitely. Yeah, boy. God, I wish. I wish I could have those moments. Seeing, like, discovering a movie for the first time like that. Oh well, yeah, I mean, well you're anymore. you're going to. I mean, yeah, shit. it's it's rare. How actually. many movies have I told you tonight you haven't seen? Yeah, but they're all shitty kind of movies. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure I've part. I'm sure I've suggested at least they're like one. okay. The uh, watch oh, rewatch Crouch. I'll let you fucking oh, borrow my God. Blu-ray sometime. It's <laughs> it's a really good library. movie. You saw it when you were fucking like what ten, eleven, twelve. It was 2000 it came out. I was nine. Yeah, exactly. So, come on. Yeah, yeah maybe I need to give him uh, a chance. I saw fucking I Blade Runner like... when I was eight, and I thought it was terrible. Yeah, I, yeah. You don't like it that much anyway. That's fine. I think it's, it's a great a good... movie. I think it's a good movie. Yeah. I think it's a nice little Gorgeously film. Gorgeously shot. Rudger Howard's great. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Ang Lee, I'm just not a big fan of him in general. His yeah. movies. 
What else? Give me some other Ang Lee films. He, he did, did Lust uh, Caution. I haven't even heard of it. He yeah. did uh, the Gay Cowboy movie. Broke back. Broke back. I was he laughing through that whole movie. Didn't see it yet. He also did Life of Pi. I can't quit you. I don't know how to quit you. I, I can't mean, quit you. I guess it's worth watching for Heath Ledger. I don't know. Even though I think he's so terrible in it. His, yeah. his mumbling accent. You put the subtitles on if you watch it. It was your fucking word. Did you says. like Life of Pi? I did like Life of Pi, actually. It's okay, it was nice. I'll be honest with you. I, I did enjoy Life of Pi. I saw it on Blu-ray. That yeah. was really that was well made, but uh, it was funny. The visual effects guy who did that movie, he totally trashed the cinematographer because the, thought, the cinematographer won an Oscar, and he said, "I did all those shots visually. Okay. You didn't do those." Some of the well, yeah. Do you remember <laughs> like he get he's at that island, and there's like a ton of either not in an island, but there's like a ton of uh, jellyfish lighting up and stuff. Oh, That's yeah. like beautiful i'll always fucking remember that fucking shot the man that was crazy thing. yeah yeah really good special effects in that movie very good i guess i thought very good cinematography too but shit yeah the visual effects guy was like fuck you dude that's my oscar bitch <laughs> all right um tweedledoo tweedledee tell that asian chick Come to call me, me. Um, Huang Yai Lo Ho Wang. I was gonna say welcome to Rudy Land and um. I like sesame chicken. <laughs> in in Cantonese, but I can't remember how to Shrimp say. Egg roll. It. So I'll just say shishi, shishi. <laughs> <laughs>